Bin for Housing is now a community of more than a thousand volunteers who want to use better information management to reduce defects and deliver better, safer, more sustainable buildings. People with different experience and knowledge who are keen to share what they've learned from real projects tackling real problems. We've got different working groups who try and identify what goes wrong and what could be improved. These are fed through to work streams where smaller groups of specialists look to provide guidance on how to effect those improvements. We were asked to support Alan Q's Golden Thread Initiative along with nine other specialist working groups. We were responsible for asset and survey information and asked our specialist teams what information we should be collecting. Almost universally, the answer was, it depends. They needed to know the context, so Mace came up with this example of an apartment block. A fire breaks out in the kitchen, so the regulator needs to know what measures are in place to prevent the spread of smoke into the corridors and stairs. No matter how perfect the fire doors are, we only need one of the other assets that make up the firewall to fail, and the residents will be at risk. We also need to demonstrate that the assets that make up the other measures are fully operational to ensure the whole safety management system works. We learned that the devil really is in the detail. So we ran individual workshops for each asset type with 20 or 30 people, some of them subject matter experts who actually write the British standards. They discussed and debated what we really need to know. So we can align actions we came up with six standard questions we asked of each asset type. The HSE directed us to look at everything from a risk perspective, so we started there. We then moved on to identifying what people sometimes do to stop things working. The next section covered the detailed information that all the different stakeholders need. Design, specification, installation, compliance, maintenance and replacement. We need evidence that procedures have been followed and that competent people have done the work. And the biggie, how are the results of value engineering recorded? Fire door sets are complex, so we opened up with a detailed breakdown for maintenance teams. We then discussed the risks fire doors help prevent. The team also shared their experience of what people do to fire doors that stops them performing. Here we have the detailed asset information that responds to the it depends question. They suggested the different procedures that should be followed by each different stakeholder and how to select competent people. And finally, change control, which will transform a lot of what we do now. Before the legislation took effect, we asked the membership what could trip us up and we ran several roundtable workshops to come up with some of the answers. The team came up with some great answers, but we now want to review them, add to them, and come up with some really practical actions. And that's where you come in.